Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my March empties and we're just going to jump into it because there's a lot. So first up the non-wax empties. I've got the Scentsy Soak in Winterberry Apple Tea. I just got this in the um, flash sale from Scentsy. Love this. This is my second bag of this exact scent and it is Winter Tea, Cranberry, Apple, and Honey. Um, if you're not familiar, this is essentially crushed bath bombs and you just take a little handful and sprinkle it in your tub and chef's kiss. So good. And this one smells divine. So definitely would pick up more of that. This is the Mary Kay Mad About Masking Mask Pod gift set. It came with four um, single use masks in here. So we had Miss Porfect or Porfect, Energy Queen, Lady Serenity, and Dewey Gal. They were all nice, but nothing crazy. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase them, but I did enjoy them while I had them. So that is now gone. Also, I finished up one of my all-time favorite countertop cleaners. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day in Basil. Really enjoyed this. Would definitely repurchase. I also used up a soft soap juicy pomegranate and mango moisturizing body wash. I got this um, for, there's a hair in it, um, next to nothing with my coupons. And this one was really good. I enjoyed the scent. It wasn't too much like I have experienced with the Dial um, body washes. So I would probably repurchase this one. I am getting rid of this. This is the Aussie Glitzy Pink Pink Glitter Spray. It's for your hair and body. Um, it's an aerosol can full of glitter. Unfortunately, this one is broken and it doesn't spray the glitter very often. So there's probably about half of it left in there, but it's just not worth the hustle or the hassle, sorry. So I'm getting rid of this one. I used up a travel size Vanilla Bean Noel fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. This is not my favorite vanilla scent, but I did enjoy it. I don't think I'd repurchase this exact one though. This is Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast Antibacterial Hand Spray. Love this stuff, would definitely repurchase. Love the scent as well. I also have a handmade by Maddie with love um, soap in 7up. She just has like a phone number there to order, but I'm using this up currently. It lathers really nice, but it's not my favorite hand bar or bar of soap. <laughs> okay, so I have some Mary Kay Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for your feet and legs. This isn't anything special for me. I didn't love the scent. It's just like a peppermint type smell. Um, and I don't know what the energizing is supposed to do, but it didn't really do anything. So won't repurchase that. This I surprisingly did like. It's the Mary Kay Naturally Moisturizing Stick. Um, it's, it looks like this and you just rubbed it like all over your face, you know, and it looked greasy. So I would do it like at nighttime after a shower, I'd wash my face and rub this on there. Um, and then it would just set in and it was actually really nice. So I would, I would repurchase that. And I used up a pocket back from Bath & Body Works in Crackin' Me Up, which is peppermint sugar cookie. I love the packaging on this, which is why I bought it. Um, not so much the scent on it. So I think I have a few more of these. I'm looking forward to getting rid of them. Okay, and now we are on to wax. I will go ahead and get started with the candles first. We've got two of them this month. The first one is Stress Relief from Bath & Body Works. It's eucalyptus and spearmint. This is not my favorite, but the husband loves it. So <laughs> it's gone. And we used up another of the Japanese cherry blossom, which has quickly become a favorite. And this is pear Japanese cherry blossom in sandalwood. Just a very classic. This one did not go out very nice. It burned like very smooth until the bottom. And then we just like kind of let them go out however they did. And that's what happened but it was nice though all right and so now i will start with the wax that i would not repurchase um first up is two from little mr wax melts this one is vanilla snow cream it just was like a vanilla scent like a wintry vanilla unfortunately i just couldn't really smell it so i wouldn't repurchase that one and then we have family gathering which just kind of smelled like michael's or something like that to me so it wasn't something that i really wanted to go out of my way to repurchase so i won't 
And then I've got two from American Made Wax Company and I would repurchase this one if she was not like out of business at this point. Um, this is not tonight. I've got a headache from her Valentine's Day collection and it's fresh rose water, pink sugar, creamy vanilla bean, musk, and amber. That one was really good. It was just like a really nice rose scent. And then this one is Love the Wine You're With, and it's Tropical Passion Fruit, Citrus, Moscato Wine, Sweet Florals, Coconut Wood, and Driftwood Accord. This one was really good. I could smell the um, passion fruit and wine. Like after it had been melting for a while, at first it kind of smelled meh, but then once it had been melting for a while, I really enjoyed it. But again, she's no longer in business, so won't be repurchasing. Um, I finished up Gambit's Gamble from Villainous Wax Company, and this was um, there was a bunch of different shapes in it. And then some of them were sparkling pomegranate, Prosecco, or warm plum tart. So you could do either or. Um, but I enjoyed it. It, it, it threw really well, but I don't think I'd repurchase this exact scent again. Here's another one from American Made Wax Company. This was Pineapple Whip and Churros from her collaboration with No White Space Stickers. Um, this one just wasn't my personal favorite scent wise like you could get the cinnamon of the churros mixed with like pineapple and it just isn't something that like I necessarily enjoyed being mixed but again it's no longer available so won't repurchase <laughs> and now I've got a few Scentsy ones this one up top is a whole new world by um, Scentsy from their Aladdin collection the scent notes are plumberry violet leaf and white woods um, most of the Aladdin collection, I honestly couldn't smell. So it just wasn't worth it for me. Um, wouldn't repurchase this one at all. And this one just smells disgusting in my opinion. It's a bring back my bar in spiced grapefruit. Whoever voted this back has some serious psychological issues, but this is Mandarin, bergamot, citrus, spicy coriander, nutmeg, and allspice. It's literally just a spicy grapefruit. You know, it's like exactly what it says um would not recommend definitely did not enjoy if you enjoy this it throws really great um but I did not so no thank you <laughs> next up is a fresh baked sugar cookies wax melt from Walmart I don't know the brand at all I don't have scent notes but it literally just smells like salted almost like salted sugar cookies very yummy. I think we've gone through like three or four clams of this at this point and we have a few more. Love it. This one was really good from Better Homes and Gardens. Um, pomegranate spiced cider. Really, really nice. It's just like a spicy pomegranate cider, really. You just get the sparkly, um, a little bit of spice, but nothing crazy, and then pomegranate. So it's just really nice. It's like a sparkling punch almost at Christmas time, you know? So I think I'd get more of that. I had these in the I wouldn't buy more of it pile. That's why we're going through them, but actually I would. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So this one, I would not. This is Happy Home and it's The In-Laws Are Coming. Um, it had a really cute picture before they slapped that clearance sticker on it, but I do not like this one. I used to really like it, but it kind of smells like you just wiped down the countertops and also opened a box of Fruit Loops. It's kind of bizarre. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's not up my alley anymore. It throws really well though, but it's just kind of a bizarre mix. I wouldn't repurchase that one. This one I would. It's the Better Homes and Garden Birchwood Bonfire. It just smells like a firewood kind of thing. It's kind of like a... Uh, I can't even think of the name of the Bath and Body Works one. It's something. You guys will know. Let me know in the comments. I, I can't remember for the life of me, but it smells very similar to that one. Um, but just kind of like mellowed out a little bit so it's less headache inducing. I don't know. Would repurchase that one. And last from the Better Homes and Gardens is Perfect Winter Kiss. And this is where you had half winter cuddle and half frosted mint. And this was actually really nice. I mixed them all the way down. So I did like one cube of each. It smelled so fresh and so like kind of masculine, but not really. And then like fresh, but wintry. It was just a great mix. I was here for it. I would get more of this. Okay. We also have Southbound Candle Company Sugar Baby, which this is amazing and I want more of it. 
It's lavender vanilla wafers, vanilla frosted waffle cones. So I used a whole bakery bag of this. Very, very great. I've had this forever and it was still throwing like a champ. Like good stuff, definitely need more. I found a few more of the Little Mr. Wax Melts. These ones I would repurchase. Cranberry rhubarb preserves. It smelled like cranberry and rhubarb. So good. Definitely like a unique scent and something I want like a whole bunch of. Definitely would repurchase that. We have fireplace. It just kind of smelled like, you know, fire and wood and nice. So I would repurchase that one. And then this one was shocking because I hated the spiced grapefruit so much, but I loved this orange clove. It's through so strong. And then it just was like cloves and oranges and it was so good. So definitely would repurchase that from Little Mr. Wax Melts. And now we are all about the Scentsy. So I did a couple of mixes. The first one I did was Mojito Mambo and Sunkissed Citrus. These are just little tester sizes. So I just put like the tester in the warmer at once. Uh, this is Sparkling Club Soda, Lime, Mint Leaf, and White Rum. That's Mojito Mambo. And then oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit for Sunkissed Citrus. I don't like Mojito Mambo on its own, which is why I mixed it but I really enjoyed this one. So again, that was Sunkissed Citrus and Mojito Mambo. Nice. And then the next mix that I did was Sugared Strawberry and Squeeze the Day. So together it kind of makes like a strawberry lemonade effect. So this Sugared Strawberry is strawberry, currants, and lemons. And then Squeeze the Day is just pure lemons and vanilla cream. So this was really good. I'm not a huge fan of Squeeze the Day on its own, but I like them together a lot. And so did, I melted this at work and so did a bunch of the guys at work because I work at a construction company. So they're all guys, but um, yeah, they enjoyed that one too. Next up, I have Sunburst Bamboo from Scentsy. This is a newer scent and I actually really enjoyed it. It's super fresh. It's bamboo, cucumber, and peony. I mostly just get the bamboo and cucumber. There's definitely cucumber in it, but really, really like this one. So definitely would repurchase that. One of my all time favorites is pink cotton. If you haven't tried it, do. It's clean cotton, pink berries, and vanilla sugar. I love this one so much. It's like a laundry scent that isn't too overwhelming. So definitely love that one. Then I've got Gone Camping by Scentsy, and this is Lily, Meadow Breeze, and Amber Woods. I really enjoyed this one. It just kind of made your house smell like the great outdoors, but without all of like the horrible smells. It's just like really nice. So I would definitely repurchase that. This is Apple Teeny Splash. It was a little, I enjoyed it, but I'm, I'm kind of torn if it was too sweet for me or not. It's Green Apple, Nashi Pear, and Simple Syrup. So I might repurchase it again because I honestly can't remember. Like, it's pretty good. It's just super fruity, like apples and pears. Mm -hmm. Here is another kind of laundry type scent. This is cashmere and corduroy, another one I really love. And this is creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. I've gone through several bars of this at this time. It's pretty much just like a comfort scent. Like it's just one of those scents you put on when you wanna feel warm and cozy. And we are down to our last four bars. This one is new and I love it so much. It's Summer Moonlight. So it's fresh strawberry, sweet pea, and sandalwood. That one is very, very nice. Get it. This is another round of Thunderstorm. It's Moss, Clove, and Spicy Rose. Again, it just kind of smells like a storm without the rain. So kind of like, I don't know. It's just bizarre, but I like it. Obviously I've gone through two clams. <laughs> um, this is Sun Ripened Berry. Again, another one I very much enjoy. It's orange sorbet with sun ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. Mostly I just get raspberries, honestly, but it's so good. And last but not least, I used up my last bar of Huckleberry and Clementine, which I love. And this is Huckleberry Preserves, Clementine, and Strawberry Vine. So this one has a little bit of a greenery in it. And then it's got a little bit of like a tart note from the Huckleberry. It's just very nice. And I enjoy it a lot. So 
that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a great day, night, whenever you're watching this and until next time.